Whoa. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Oh, uh, that's not waving, that's wanting to kill us. Run, Chris! Sans, I swear to God, if it's you, but in an onion suit. No, it's the Mr. Onion dude from Parappa the Rappa. Master Food, or whatever the hell his name is. Ooh, like the music. Oh, oh. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't get hit, I don't think. Chris, down there. Oh, shit. Ow. What? Okay, at least I can dodge. You get one, hit once. I wonder if there's some kind of bonus or special thing that unlocks if you don't get hit. Got hit twice, damn. Okay, made it down. Keep going down. I'll find a way eventually. What Chris or Frisk did. Oh, we're in Twilight Town. Cool. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Yeah, you go to the building. I'm gonna go. Okay. If you could move your fat. Oh, great. Maybe this place is an abandoned theme park. Wait. Where are the rides then, huh? Maybe they abandoned it because there weren't any. Fine. Items? Question mark in sword. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked, okay. Oh yeah, this looks like I'm not about to enter some kind of weird mirror. What the fuck? In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Castle town. Oh god, we are in Traverse Town. A Twilight Town. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please, come forward, both of you. Oh yeah, mysterious shadowy figure. Fucking hell, yeah, that's not my enemy. Welcome. I am the Prince of the Kingdom. I love how there's a slight white to the top of those of Prince and Kingdom. The Kingdom of Darkness. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is just Kingdom Hearts. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. How the fuck do you know our names? A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Listen. Very well, then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope, a legend of dreams. There's two different stories, a legend of light and a legend of dark. This is the legend of Delta Rune. Da, 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 da. For millennia, light and dark have lived in the balance. Monsters in darkness, people in light, bring peace to the world. Why do I have a feeling it's the other way around? What if this harmony were to shatter? A terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror. And the land will crack with fear. And the Delta Rune shall look. Be used by Garen. Uh, sorry, wrong game. Then her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. 
Oh yeah, this doesn't sound fucking ominous. Only they conceal the fountains. And banish the angels heaven. What the fuck? Only then will balance be restored. And the world saved from destruction. Today the fountain of darkness. The geyser that gives this land form. Stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my ta long tale. One second here, I gotta adjust the audio. Okay. I belie deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. I didn't give him courage, I gave him kindness. Damn it! Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Delta Warriors! And Chris doesn't seem to... Uh, nah. What? what? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, but, but Susie, without you, the, what, the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to go find a way out of here. Susie, wait! <laughs> Well, I think we found our answer game. Ho 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 ho! Ho 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 ho! The heroes are already running away. They didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm... Bad guy. You clowns wanna see our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from the eternal darkness, huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Solid work, good plan. A lot of foundation to it. Seems pretty solid. Also, this music in the background and the fact that this guy's where it is riding a bicycle with training wheels that are on fire. Nice plan, kid. R really Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Lancer, butts in. Act. Lancer. Compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flat. His attack iron went down. Oh, you're making me feel my feelings do wheelies. Ow! Jesus Christ! I don't know how to get an axe. I don't know how I got an axe, but, like, that's cool. Compliment. You try again to compliment my answer again, but he seems as if it was insincere. Zack Tire goes back up. I'm not realizing I'm mask my self esteem levels. Aha! Oh! Jesus! We're in some real stuff. I just switched gears now to appear confident. Warning. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He raised himself. So what are you guys doing after this? Trying not to die? Lancer's riding it out. Warning. Lancer laughs at the idea he can your help. Oh ho, I'm the bad guy. Ah. Ow, what? Wait, wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punk of ruse. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time, the loser will be you. Haha, <laughs> bye, losers. Gotta get home for dinner. You won. Got 0 XP and 38 BS. And then he just slides back in. Are you two okay? 
Allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Razzy. Wait. Raz... Razzy? As... Re... Wait. As... Wait, how do you spell Asriel? Hold up, let me look it up. I'm literally pausing the recording here because I gotta read this. As Asriel. A S A S R I E. Oh my god, it's just Asriel misspelled. Look at the spelling. I am Asriel is spelled A S R I E L. There's the R. There's the A, one A, there's one L, one S, one I, one L. It's fucking Asriel. Chris, Susie, wait, Susie, 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 Susie. Chris is basically Frisk without the K, without the F. Susie, I don't know where Susie fits. It's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Just fucking ditches like an asshole. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Alright, Asriel. It even looks like Asriel from the side. Like, look at the fucking floppy ears. It's fucking Asriel. And he is the prince of the Dreamer Kingdom. The symbol even looks like- it's just fucking Undertale too. what the hell? Chris, I'm a prince, but I, um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here, um, my whole life for you two to arrive, so I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's get- try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. I'm gonna try and go in the castle. Hey, I'm um, Chris. I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure's over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake. Okay. Rousey. Yeah, it's Asriel. I swear to fuck. Good magic. Okay, so he's... Red scarf. A basic red scarf made of lightly magical fiber. Level 1 leader. Okay, I'm not a human anymore. Commands the party with various acts. Okay. Lonely Prince. Dark world being has no subjects. Pacify. Spare. A tired enemy but putting them to sleep. Heal prayer. Heavenly light restores a little HP to... Okay, I want to pacify him. Okay, he's got kindness and f fucking fluffiness, but no guts. Okay. Alright. Okay. Rousey, the Lonely Prince, is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines with <laughs> I fucking love this game. Okay. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked. That one's inside. It's locked. Okay, I guess these places aren't open yet. Up that way. Oh, Chris, at the training dummy I made. Now it seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Fuck it, sure. Okay, get ready, Chris. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. No fucking pressure. If it gets hit, you and your friend will lose HP. If everyone's HP goes zero, we'll lose the battle. So please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's get to try dodging. Great job, Chris. Anyhow, after an enemy attacks our turn, Chris, first I'll teach you how to fight. Now fighting isn't an is necessary in this world. There's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Act, tell me. Hug Raziel. You hug Raziel. Aww. Chris, um, I don't think um, this is what you're supposed to be doing. 
but let's try fighting. Attack. Hug. You hug the dummy. Um, Chris, you'd rather hug it out than fighting? Eh. You know what? That's fine. You don't need to fight. Okay, let's try defending. Simply defending and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you also got a TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Cool. I can spare him now. Alright, let's try defending. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? If you had, um, hit the enemy, you'd be tired now. In that case, if you use my pass spell on spell, you'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Pacify. As you'll cast Pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Remember when you hugged the dummy by acting on it? Because of that, its name turned yellow. Now by using the spare X command, you can win. Oh, I should just spare this pretty ditch. Chris spared the dummy. Great job, Chris. Now that'll be the end of the real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. You won. Your XP and one gold. Cool. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And I, er, in case you ever need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu and use in your items. You got the manual. Yep, there it is. Azul's handmade book full of various tips and tricks. You tried to read the manual, but it was so dense it made your head spin. What the fuck? It's just a dummy. Hi. Oh, my, the great door is open? No wonder Lancer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I really believe in your choices are important too. This world is full of people, call all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Ow, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero from Mona Sally. Okay, here's a better question. During that entire opening cutscene, I didn't see Sans or Papyrus. I didn't even see any of the big ones, except for Undyne and Alphys was there. Toriel too, but I mean, there's a couple others. He closed the doors. He closed the fucking doors. With the great door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. Adventure! Feel the, the great door. What about the trees? Weird pixel trees. The field of hopes and dreams. Okay. Enemies ahead, you're gonna die. Signed, Lancer. Aight. Hey there, buddy. Rudden drew near. Rudden. Defense. Rudden drew near. Defense. You told Rudden to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Rudden is going to be plainly. Spare. Spare. Chris spared Rudden. You won. Got zero XP and 34 DS. And the pacifist run begins. Truly heroically. If you're reading this, I guess you're. If you're reading this, I guess you're dead. Kind Lancer. Yep, my corpse is just over there talking. I like how it's not a random encounter, it's literally just walk up and talk. What the fuck are you doing here? Ho 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 ho, if it isn't my two favorite two people. Wait, what's the voice? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, if it isn't my favorite two people. Psych, you guys aren't even in the top five. Lancer, where's Suji? You mean the purple girl? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho. You fools, you're too late to stop me. What do you, what did you do? 
Oh, 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 it was so simple. She beat me up, so I ran away. <laughs> well, that's a bit anticlimactic. Hey, don't read this sign. It's a work in progress. It's signed, Lansing. So, are you just gonna stand there? I thought you would at least run to the right. Why? Purple girl's over there. Okay. Uh, let's go down then. Star tree. These types of trees don't contain an item that can heal you. Whatever you do, don't check the tree and use C to open your menu. You got it? Sign Lancer. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one. Sure. You've got the dark candy. Feels 40 HP, a red and black star that tastes like marshmallows. I'll leave the other one. Leave it for something else. Hey, if you head that way, my troops will crush you. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. Hey. Hey, buddy. The necklace of Rudden blocks your path. I don't know what they call necklace. Convince. Convince. You told Rudden to quit fighting. It was already least way. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Shine, shine. Oh, yo. Oh. Oh. Well. Vince. Ben. I told Rudden to quit fun. Observe this way. I'm just no person. I guess it makes sense. Oh, wait. Nope. Spare. Double spare. Chris spared Rudden. As Z spared Rudden. You won. Got zero experience. 73 gold. Hey, making that cash. Making that dosh. First NPC we meet that isn't an enemy. And this guy looks cool. Mamma Bida! I'm Top Chef. My latest cake worked me to exhaustion. So I took a little nap, but Mamma Bida, a scary noise wake me up. A beast was hunched on the table, eating the cake like an animal. I spritzed it with water and it hissed at me and ran off. But my wonderful cake is... Oh, great. I think I like cutie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. Mamma Mamma Meba, Mamma Sheba. <laughs> Sheba, you know that beast? Please don't come back. The remains of the cake are still smoldering. Take a piece. Yes? The broken cake was added to the key items. Mamma me that. No, the beast don't come back. Okay. Hey, right, buddy. Oh, new boy. Rudden and Hathi walked away. Rudden. And Fen. He told Rudden to quit fighting. He's out of this way. I guess it can make sense. Weird fighting team? Whoa. Hey. Ow, what? Hathi smiled with daring smile. Hathi. X flatter. You were relative to flatter all the enemies. I'm making tea later. Um, would you like any? Face my diamond cutter in hearts. Okay. All right. Spare. Smells like a soft kiss. Chris spared Ruddit. Rousey spared half. You won. 0 XP, 63 gold. Okay. Passive is going strong. Fun enemies. And I like the music. Another star tree. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one. There's one a candy hanging from the tree. Take one. Now I'll leave it. Decide to let the tree keep it. There you go, Mr. Tree. Okay. Check the clock in order to solve this puzzle. You have to hurry. Nope. Okay. Oh, I see it.
Got it. Gotta get him to not be able to keep up. Maze of death. Oh, wonderful. Behold, the maze of death. Prepare to get lowest clouds. So I can answer. I should probably give him the voice of Lancer from Danny Phantom. Caesar's go! Oh, I can't do it. I can't do my voice that high. Feeling lo lost yet? You must be able to help us among those twists and turns. Your sense of direction will save you. Sign Lancer. It's some sort of enemy. It looks like they got clawed. Now I guess we know where we she went. Hey, wait, where am I? Help, somebody help, I'm lost. Another enemy? You opened the treasure chest. Inside was a white ribbon. Put white ribbon in your armors. That ribbon is armor, Chris. It increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in your ribbon menu? I think it'd look great on you. Could look fabulous up in here. Cuteness up. A crinkly hair ribbon that slightly increases your defense. And cuteness. Damn, all the stats in this game. Jesus. Well, I'm gonna actually take a moment here and just put an end to it because I think an hour for the first episode's pretty good. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Stay beautiful and we'll see where the rest of this goes. Also, I'm gonna be uploading this later on the November 1st. Just because Kit told me that Toby Fox didn't want to be anybody talking about it for an hour or 24 hours, so despite people posting it online already, I'm gonna actually follow that rule, so stay beautiful, people. Catch you later.